What is the top secret you think when it comes to LNG liquefaction process? There are different technologies such as C3MR by Air Products, Cascade Process by ConocoPhillips, Single Mixed Refrigerant by Black Witch, and a Dual Mixed Refrigerant by Shell. For each process, there are secrets for the optimal refrigerant flow, pressure, and temperature. However, the top secret among all the secrets is the mixed refrigerant compositions. In general, process engineers spend days and nights to optimize the compositions, yet the solution might not be found. In this video, the top secret is unveiled to teach you how you can optimize the mixed refrigerant compositions in a matter of minutes instead of days. To illustrate my point, let's take a closer look at the single mixed refrigerant process which is patented by Black Witch as Preco. Just like all the other LNG liquefaction process, natural gas is first sent into the magnetic exchanger in which it is liquefied into LNG. The compressed mixed refrigerant is also introduced to the magnetic exchanger in which it is cooled down to about negative 248 Fahrenheit and then it, it, it is expanded to about 45 PSIA through the JT valve. The cold is recovered in the magnetic exchanger and then the gas is further compressed in a two stages compressor and then finally feed back into the magnetic exchanger. Thus it forms a closed mixed refrigeration loop. For an unoptimized pre-cool process, the liquefaction power for 5 million metric ton per year is about 279,600 kilowatt. Some readers might recall in my other blogs, for 5 million metric ton per year LNG plant, the C3MR process consumes about 191,600 kilowatt, while the cascade process consumes about 179,900 kilowatt. On the surface, it seems there's no way for preco process to compete against C3MR or cascade process. Process engineers have a lot of challenges to optimize the preco process, especially the mixed refrigerant compositions. A magic box was developed by Guofu Chen, which can utilize HASIS optimizer to automatically optimize the mixed refrigerant compositions. The current power consumption is about 279,600 kilowatt. Let's take a look at the heat exchanger release curve. There are only two points which has a minimal approach of 4 Fahrenheit. Now watch the magic happens. Simply click the start button on the optimizer. The power consumption is reduced to 209,500 kilowatt, which is more than 20% power reduction. Now let's take a closer look at the heat exchanger release curve. As you can see, there are about four points that has a minimum approach temperature of four Fahrenheit. Instead, before there was there was only two. The composition optimization used to take days. Not in just several minutes, you will be very confident you have an optimal design thanks to HASIS optimizer. For this particular application, the opt optimal compositions are 34% methane, 28% ethane, 0% propane, about 11.5% ibutane, 19.5% n-butane, and 7.5% nitrogen. Thanks for watching this video. It is brought to you by Guofu Chen. More interesting topics can be found at showcase.guofuchen.com.